Hello friends. Yes, I had an interview and yes, you get a video. So I'm excited. So continue to pray. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to get on here really quick while my child is entertained by grandparents um, and go over two books that have blessed my life greatly recently. First of all, at the beginning of quarantine craziness, I started reading this book. My friend Rochelle um, ordered this for me, and this book was a blessing um, for me as an adoptive mom of a 10-year-old and um, from uh, hard places, kids. And so this is an incredible, encouraging book and easy to read and just um, very encouraging. So if you're adopting and um, you just need some encouragement, this is a great read. It just gives you like a breath to, you can do it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard, but keep going. So this is a great read. Another book that I've read that I uh, has been incredible is this book. Um, Handle with Care, Lori Ferguson Wilbur. So this is an incredible book. I heard about this on Jamie Ivey's podcast. She interviewed her, and so I got the book and I read it. It's just an incredible read. And it's really good for people who have been hurt and maybe burned by churches um, or just people in general. Um but uh, specifically, it's really great for single people, um, which, you know, I'm kind of a professional at being single. And <laughs> so this was incredible. The thing about this book that is also very cool, that makes me feel smart when I read it, which uh, Lori uses some big words. So I went through, and these, these are just a couple of the um, big words. Well, not really big words, but words that I'd never heard about. So this word, ilk, I-L-K, I went through, every time I found a word, I underlined it and looked up the meaning and then wrote the meaning. <laughs> so, ilk, I never knew, a group of people. Hmm. So, not only is this an incredible book um, to read, it also help you with your vocabulary. Thank you, Lori, um, for stepping it up. You know, when you read, like, Anne Voskamp, um, you know, those incredibly, the broken way. Um, I just, I never read it. I just listened to it on CD and you feel smarter and deeper thinker because you listen to Anne Voskamp. This is the same thing. If you read this, you increase your vocabulary and you feel smarter. So always looking for those ways to feel smarter. So get this book, great book. I'm going to already, I would give it to you if you needed it, but I already have someone I'm giving it to, so, for them to read and hopefully get back to put on my shelf. So, this is a great book. The thing I wanted to talk about both of these is something that um, I've been working on recently, and it's this, instead of when things get tough or uncomfortable, instead of um, running away or putting your head in the sand or just wanting to deal with it later, is just to be very um, therapeutic and say this one thing. Um, I'm going to lean into that and, and deal with why that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm being very serious about this. <laughs> Lately, um, when things come up that are hard or uncomfortable or tough, and I'm, I mean, if you know me in my life right now, it's, it's all that and more. Um, I, I say to myself very, very um, smartly and wisely, I say to myself, how about I just lean into that and ask questions like, why? Why does that make me uncomfortable? Why can I not let this go? For instance, clothing apparel with my little one is a major fight all the time. And, um, she just, we fight, 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 and she just comes out wearing whatever I've talked about not wearing. She just blatantly does it. And, you know, the, all my wise counsel, fight your battles, is this really something that, you know, pick your battles, is this really something? So, this morning, 
you know, walked out in something <laughs> I have gone over and over again about not wearing, or, you know, um, it just got washed. So she immediately put it back on. So I just was like, well, I'm going to lean into that and think about why I can't let things like clothing go. And as my dad said, it's not your, your daughter is not your little doll to play dress up. Ugh. Um, yeah, that's true. And maybe that's what I'm doing in micromanaging clothes. Um, I don't want to micromanage clothes, but, um, I don't, like, what, what is the big deal? Just let it go. You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth an argument over clothes. And, um, so I'm leaning into that, dealing with my junk. Oh, that's another problem too. Why is it always me dealing with stuff? Um, why can't it be the other person's responsibility? Uh, that goes back to book one of which I probably should have brought with me to show extreme ownership, taking, taking ownership from the top down. So. Anyways, this has gone way too long, but I wanted to encourage you with these two books. Get them today. They are incredible reads. Okay, a small Natalie Glenn. Yeah, who, a reminder. Let's just be the okay, a small. And um, this book is so good on just the assertiveness of just toning it down. Like, well, let's survive the day that was super encouraging and this book is talking about physical touch how Christ uh, touched um, the people that he ministered to and how we as churches as a society has, have gone like polar opposites instead of leaning in to um, the reasons behind and the needs that we have for personal touch so I hope you're encouraged and I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for praying for my interview today.